Okay, welcome to this tutorial and this time I'm going to show how to create a line using a function. So the important here is like I'm going to type a simple code that is going to have one condition for the creation of these lines and that means that I'm going to tell to GC that if the distance between two points is bigger than a than one value, GC is going to hide that line and if it's smaller than something, GC is going to create it. So for a quick demonstration, basically this is what I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna do. This is we can see how the point is reacting through the distance between some points and if I move the point the lines are changing because of the code that I wrote. So this is what is this tutorial is going about. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to create two points so I can set two lines between those these two points. And as always I'm going to save my transaction. I'm going to a line by points. My start point is going to be point of one, point of two. I'm going to hit OK. Then now I'm going to create a copy of this line. I'm just going to change these points. This one is going to be point point of three and the next one is going to be point of four hit OK saving my transaction the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place two points in each line and I'll place another one here so I'm going to change I'm going to edit this second point and I'm going to create six, six of them using the function series. So it's between, I have to use a range. So between is going to be between 0 and 1, which is the dimensions of these lines. And I'm going to do it every 0.1 unit. So I'm going to hit OK. So now I have my points. OK, so let's save this transaction. So the next thing that I have that I'm going to do is actually is creating the line that is going to be controlled by the length of this between this point and this one. So, well, it's between the distance between this point and this point, but I'm going to use the, the, the length of that line as an input. So that means that I'm going to lock that dimension into one single value. And what it means is 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 that if I move this element, this line using this point, and the distance between these two elements is bigger than the value that I'm going to use, the line is going to disappear. So in that way, you can start connecting some some features inside you see using a, a control value, a control distance, and you can do it. You can use it that for any any kind of example that you that you may want to. So let's go to create new feature and let's go line. And we're going to do it, you do it by function. As always, if you don't know how to type function, use example bottom. This is going to show up, this is going to pull up a, a file that where you can see how to do it. So here, something that is really good to know for starting writing functions is this bottom here, the, state on the statement builder, if I click here, this is gonna, it's gonna write for me some of the basic functions. So I'm gonna use this time just function and tell me that I have to start with the word function and I have to write some arguments. So for this function that is really simple, the only thing that I need is a point. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to write point. So this is the type 
of the element and I'm going to call it PT. So this is how we always start writing a function. So the next thing that I'm going to do is what I'm going to create. I'm going to create a line that's going to be called L. That's the name of my line. And I'm going to say that it's equal to nothing. And I'll tell GC to write it. Right? The next thing that I need is an increment. It's a counter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna define int, which means it's an integer, it's a number, and it's gonna be ct. That's the way that I'm gonna call it, and I'm gonna say that this value is equal zero. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually to create a line. So I need a for function. So I have I have to use my statement building if I don't know how to write it, and just choose for. So GC automatically create that uh, the elements that I need to, to write a function. So I need an integer and a count. So this time the count is going to be, I'm going to create a line and the count of, num of elements that I'm going to create is exactly the, the quantity of these points that I replicate, which is 0 0.06. So I'm going to use i as my as my limit for my function and it's going to be from 0 until b minor of 0 0.06 that count and I'm going to go every one that's what I mean plus plus i it means that the next one the next value for i is going to be you see, this one was 0, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on until B minus the quantity of this, the quantity of points that I have in this line. So here now I have to type L is my line. The index is CT, is the counter that I'm using. And it's going to be equals new line. I'm going to go open and close parentheses in zero. I'm going to define it in the next line. So L CT is going to be equals. Now I have to hit dot. And here GC show up all the options that I have for creating this this line. Since it's a very, very simple example that what I'm writing, I'm going to use just byte points. So I have to here. So now I have to open parentheses and GC is asking me for the inputs that I need. I need two points. So I know that I have a basic element here uh, uh, that is going to be always I want to use 0.05 as, as my start point and then I want to go to each one of these elements so I have to go 0.06 and the index I'm going to use I And that's all that I have to type here. So here I'm going to type the int, the condition. So I'm going to use if. So I have to go here, statement building, and insert if and else. So here I'm going to tell if L, which is my line, index i dot length it's minor I just gonna say here uh, a static value but you can also add a, a variable here and change it you can do whatever you want I'm gonna say 10 units I'm gonna say that L CT 
that visible equals true. If not, if this length is bigger than that, I'm gonna say I'll, I'm gonna say that L C T, which is a counter, that visible is equals false. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I have to add I have to increase our counter. So this is a shortcut to type CT equals oops sorry CT plus one is the same as just typing CT plus plus and now I'm going to tell to return L which is my line to use that comma here and that's everything that I that I need and I'm gonna hit OK so now remember that I said that I need a point so this is what we did here is to define our function now I have to type which ones are the arguments which are the ones that I type in the first time the first place which are this 0.06 curly brace it and just type 0.06 hit OK and I'm gonna hit OK so now we can see that our line is hidden that means that the distance is bigger so now let's test what happens if I move one of these points lower now we can see that actually this is creating our lines and in the moment that that length is bigger than the, the, the static value that I type is connecting them okay So that's that's the basic, very basic way how to type a function and how how to use how to start typing some restrictions to our to our functions that we're creating. So that's all for this tutorial. In the file that that is posted in the in the wiki, the only difference that I that are between those two files is that in the, for the next ones you're going to see for the next transactions if you go one by one what I basically what I did is is just to make it in a, in a different way I just tried to add a little bit more elements just to show that you can you can do the same thing that we did here but using multiple points and multiple elements so what I what I did is was just to create to set some points to create lines so this is what I did I create two curves then I replicate some points in the in the curves then I just hide the, the control points that I use for creating my lines the next thing that I that I start doing is typing the function so I can create the lines between this point and those points and this point and these ones so if I go here and if I go here with my right button of my mouse and I edit the transaction I can see that what I wrote is basically the same thing that we did in the beginning of this tutorial I start with my with my function I define which ones were my elements of the functions I need two points that I was because I was creating a line between two points so I have two elements so I went from 0 to pt that count that means that I went from 0 to the exactly 
amount of points that I have replicated in this curve. That's how many times I'm running the loop for the function in GC. And here I just define my line as nothing. Here I say that I want that I was going to to call my line L. This is a count. This is the count means that this is line of one, line line of five one, line of five two, line of five three, line of five four, and so on. That's the count. It's gonna create a new line and I'm gonna do it by points between point two and PTI. This is a point that I'm creating every time that I'm changing the loop. I'm going to point 17 0 to the next one, point 17 1, 2, 3, and so on until the last position. So here is where I wrote the statements for those lines. If the length of those lines is minus 20, remember that I just put a static value here, but you can change it into a variable, and then so you can you can play there and uh, and make it a more dynamic way. If it's smaller than that, it's true, it's visible. I want to see it. If it's bigger than that, it's false. Here you can type other things too, but this is a very basic example to how to to start teaching how to how to write a function and then at the end the only thing that I did is okay so go to the next line and so it's gonna be line this one was 05 from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and so on and the arguments were this point which is point 11 which is 0.02 pt2 and 0.17 is the replication that is pt. This one is this one and this one is that one. And then I just create a copy of that line and the only thing that I did is changing the inputs, the arguments for that function. If we edit this guy we're going to see that the inputs are 0.18 and 0.11. 0.18 are the points that I replicate in this line. So if I edit this guy, you're going to see that the input was 0.17, which were these ones. So that's other way also to, to start like saving time in GC and reusing the code that we type. And the next thing is just I hit a copy again and I change I created the two ones in this transaction, this line 04 and line 03, and I changed all the inputs of my function, the arguments. So these were 0.17, which is these points, and 0.12, which is this guy. So for the next ones, I use 0.18 and this point. So here, you can see that if I if I play a little bit with my with my point, I'm gonna see that in real time you see it's calculating the distance, the the length of that line, and if it's according to the values that I type, it's going to create it. If not, it's going to hide it. Right? And I can go up and you see it's going to Sorry, my computer is a little bit slower, but here I can have anything. If all the distance are bigger, and if not, it's creating the lines. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. And please remember that if you have any questions, please go to the forum, post the forum. And if you want to share some file, please do it send me an email and I will be very happy to help you or if not any other member from the GC team is going to to answer those questions and I, I hope that you guys learned something in this tutorial and thank you for for watching and that's all bye bye